I just wanted a way out, trying to find out my calling. I was searching for alternative ways to make money. I knew I had a gift. I just needed an outlet. YouTube paved the way. I learned how to use charts, look at the planets, and to create a business. It led me to where I'm at today. But how can I connect my calling to making a living? I found out the answer. Join me this March for my webinar. It's going to be in the description box. I'll see you there. Hi, everyone. This is your 10 decades of announcement. I continue to annoy <laughs> because that's what life is about. Let me live my life, okay? So for the OGs, go right away to the reading. But of course, there's always an announcement as this is founded by the four nations of announcement, okay? Announcement, 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 announcement! <laughs> so first things first, okay, um, the webinar, 2128, that's what you've seen. And then uh, what else? Uh, so entrepreneur workshop webinar, that's live. I will be able to... Um, answer your questions. It's two day, two Saturdays, consecutive Saturdays. Okay, so that's that one. It's going to be in the description box. Um, remember that this is a channel based on sidereal astrology. And the first video that you always watch will be based on the current transit. Okay, so the first video. The second video does not apply. The transit there does not apply because that is recorded prior. Yes, okay. But the tarot there applies to you because tarot picks up um, different energies. And also, for people who does not resonate with the first reading, you know why you don't resonate? Because it hasn't happened to you. And that will be you in the future. <laughs> so still listen to it because it doesn't mean it doesn't resonate with you today. It's never going to resonate with you because that is you. When you're watching with me, I'm picking up your energy in a different timeline also. Okay? What else? Uh, what else? What else? What else? Um, personal readings. I'm still trying to catch up on that. And I won't be doing for future, and I mean like an announcement. I won't be opening it up, any, opening it up anymore. Sadly, I am retiring from doing that uh, reading for now for now, um, the natal chart will be where I'm focusing my energy. That is once, once a month. I uh, once, uh, once every one, you know what? Once a week. Okay. Once a week. Okay. So there's four. So you can check that, um, in uh, the description box. If it's available, congratulations. If it's not, then it's not. Okay. Um, for, uh, what else? I think that's it for personal services. What else? What else? What else? Um, and for everybody who are, uh, wondering future webinars, so make sure, um, you sign in the mailing list in our website, eatreadlove.me. It's going to be in the description box all the way, all the way, go down, go down, down, down. Uh, hi, and then you can sign up to our email list because that's where we, um, give announcement if I'm not here. Also, um, in Instagram, that's where I post the transits. If I'm not here on YouTube, transit, transit planets and the stars in IG story. You also get a freebie of thirst trap pictures, okay? So that's that one. And of course, I know people are already complaining because the announcement is so long, but I made the channel so you can make your own channel where you can read your own tarot also, okay? Let me live my life just like you're doing it, right? Okay. So are you ready for the reading? No! Three more minutes of announcements out, please! No, I'm kidding. Let's start with your reading. All right, Taurus, so let's start your reading. Remember, this is the mid-month. So the mid-month is when, uh, when I do the reading because the sun will move officially to Pisces. That's going to be on the 14th. So the way uh, sidereal, uh, Indian astrology, we look at the planet again. So, oh, it moved. Oh, there it is. That's it. Okay. It's really not confusing. Okay. And that's it. Okay. I can't explain anymore. Okay. So, cosmopolitan is different. I, it's hard to explain the cosmopolitan uh, astrology, okay? So, it's totally different from what I practice. Okay. Because that's created by editors. Okay. So, but before we start, okay, because I'm always about sharing, because I'm excited. When I'm excited, I share, okay? So, for people who want to know why I sound smart and why I know all stuff, okay, instead of Googling things for astrology, I get the Jotish reference table. I will be doing tutorial in the future. We're still in production for that, okay? So, when you get that, it has all the explanation of astrology, okay? 
Jyotish is meaning to enlighten gemstones, gemstones of the planet. Okay, so this is my go-to. This is my number two. The other one was the, uh, the what's up my other one prior, the other day? The Vedic rituals, that's one I, I like also. And then the Jyotish reference table, houses, planets, body parts, you know, all these things that are related to astrology, um, Jyotish. Um, that's it. I sound smart because of that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> See, I share you the secret already, okay? Plus good placements of the planets, of course. <laughs> so I'm going to start first your astrology because this is mixed with astrology. So if you're going to get annoyed, meaning astrology is not for you, it's not your karma, boo! Okay? Meaning you might be going for runes, go for runes or something like that, okay? Tyra will be after, okay? Congratulations, Taurus. This is what we call Venus return. Dun, 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 dun. People go Saturn return, Jupiter return, X never return. Okay? So it's not a planet. So why does it return, Taurus? Okay. <laughs> if, if, uh, if your X is a planet, why does it always return, Sal? Mm -hmm. Just saying. Okay. So, so let's move here. Okay. I might stand up because my teleprompter is l running low on battery. Okay. Okay. So Venus return okay, is going to happen on March 28th. Venus will go to Taurus. Okay. So that's the only time that Venus is in Taurus. Okay. That's the only time. Okay. Zero degrees. I love it. Okay. Miracle degree. When a planet is in the early degree, zero to three degrees, it's either it's it's like showing a lot of energy, or it's if in the last degree also twenty seven, it's like it's not sure where it is, you know, <laughs> twenty seven because it's going to the to the thirtieth degree. But he, this is a miracle degree. A miracle degree. The planet is very strong. That's what they say. Okay, because it's pushing to it's showing everything here. So that's a very good day for you. I love it. Mars is going to go to um, uh, to Capricorn, which is ninth house, and Saturn is there. So how does it work? Ninth house is travel. Not good time. Okay, <laughs> long distance travel. Not good time. So scrap that energy of vacation. Not good time. Because Sun is in Pisces, the natural 12. People would like to go out. Saturn says stay inside, people. I'm out there. Caraca of death. Yes? Caraca of death. Hmm. Saturn is in the government right now. Saturn natural 10th house. Mm. I'm not going to do a general prediction on that and see what the, go what the government... Jupiter is in Sagittarius 8th house. What are the secrets that you are finding out? Mm -hmm. Things are, that are dark is coming to surface. That's what Jupiter is doing. But more of like occult knowledge. Okay, So you will have... Okay, If you align yourself right now with Jupiter... It's going to be good for um, studies in occult. K2 is there, so it can show mastery of the pa from past life. Okay, I mean, just for now, for this transit. Okay, Rahu in Gemini, stop lying! <laughs> because Rahu is going to be in that planet. The, planet. the house of duality, Gemini, and then you put Rahu there. Major lies and deceit from the family. Are they telling you the truth? Mm? We don't know. We don't know. We don't know. Okay, but I'm not here to strike fear. I am just here to tell you what the planet is saying. Okay, but Rahu is confusing. It's an illusion. There are things right now that you have purchased that is not good for you. So let go of that. Okay, so the only thing good basically is Venus. Okay, <laughs> your natural lord is coming towards you. Okay, and the rest is still just going to be like a little bit of like, mm -mm -mm. okay, uh, Mercury in your 10th house. It's good communication at work. It's going to be okay. It's going to be fine. Um, business as usual, I feel. Job-wise, I feel like very, very secure. I have, not, I have no worry for that. I'm more worried about your second and your eighth house, okay? I don't like that. Mm -mm. I don't like that. Because it's hard to trust people. I mean, like, the people around you, do you know who you can trust? Mm. Be careful. So that's what you need to... Um, uh, understand. Let's go for the tarot. I will do the spread really fast, meaning I'll do the cards. Because you know people, they're entitled. Why I only got this card? Why I don't do it? Because you can buy your own tarot card also. Yes. It's only $22. Okay. And you can read every day for free. Mm. Let's see what's going on. Okay. Oh, if you're wondering, I was using the same app in my iPad. I'm hello. <laughs> iPad, desktop, and 
Mm -hmm. Phone. My go to. It's my go to. Here we go. Taurus. Okay. And remember, I'm a Taurus. Okay? So I would drag you by the hair if you do not make the move. Okay. Temperance. Still wanting to reconcile Sal. I cannot let go of the Sagittarian. The soulmate, right? Temperance. I'm being patient, Sal. I'm being patient. I'm being patient. But I really, really want to be with this person. Mm. It's good, though, if you're practicing this. Okay? This is also healing. Yes? Okay. This is divine guidance. Yes? Okay. Let's keep it moving. Okay. But you can't let go. Temperance is like you're being patient because you want the person. But not as a desire. You really like this person. You really love this person. We good, Taurus. We good. Keep it, keep it going. Mm. Oh, I haven't had cookie. This is just me. Okay. <laughs> People like, He's hyper again today. Oh, sometimes I am. Knight of Cups. Okay, younger water sign that you have cut off because you don't know what they want to do with their life. But you're questioning why did you even cut them off? So you're confused. You have mental anguish, mental struggle right now. Okay? You're the one who could have broken up with this person because you pulled the Queen of Swords over here. They also just accepted it. They turned themselves back around. Okay, Taurus, you don't want me. I'm out, you know. But then you feel now it's like, but it's my soulmate, so. Well, I don't know what happened. Okay? What happened? I don't know. Mm. Why did you cut the person off? Mm. Okay, here we go. You got a Ten of Cups. All right. And Four of Swords. You got a Knight of Wands. You got a Justice card. Okay, so here's what happened here. Yeah? Mm hmm. You found out that you love the person, however, they're inconsistent. Okay. Is that worth fighting for? Ten, 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 right? Is it worth fighting for? Ten, ten, ten. ten. Are you Rocky Balboa? Ask yourself. Because if not, why are we fighting for love? If your name is not Sylvester Stallone in your birth certificate, do you need to fight for love? Or do you need to surrender to love? Yes. People like the idea of, I want to fight for love. No. We surrender to love. I love and I accept and I let go. Take everything that you want from me. I want nothing in return because I'm in my path to moksha. Buddha bless you basically. Yes. That's what it is. The attachment is what you're letting go right now. You are going to your spiritual mode. Is good. Is good. Is good. I like that. Because Ten of Cups here, you really love the person. They really love you. They, you know, sometimes they say, it's like a movie. He's not just into you. It hurts, yes. You love the person. They love you. But enough to commit? No. Mm-hmm. But I like that you're going spiritual. Mm -hmm. Okay. You cut them off because they like adult sleepovers, Knight of Wands. That's what they said. Mm -hmm. mm. Keep it going. Six of Wands, you're out there, Nine of Cups, celebrating your independence, but the devil is still here and the emperor. So for you, it's more of like you want to control the situation. You want to get the last say where, yes, I cut them off, but I want them back. So I have control. Why? I don't know, Taurus. Why? Why you want to establish control to the person? Six of Wands, because you got options. You can go out and date. But you're still wanting Nine of Cups with the devil, the same person. It's almost like an addiction now. Uh-huh. Like you're going in a... Because the Temperance is good, supposedly. Like, you know, nothing extra anymore. That's your first card. First card is strongest, right? But with the Emperor and the devil, you're trying to establish like um, control with the person. Okay? Having the emperor and the devil, okay? Um, it only shows here that, uh, how to say this? Um, you really, really want this connection to happen. You're not letting go. You have this whole, I'm out, but I'm coming back. I'm out, but I'm coming back. Okay? So we have to figure this out. Okay? So, ooh, the sun is out. Yay. Okay. All right, so follow me all the way to the end to the extended preview. Thank you very much, Charles, for watching. Bye. Now, they can be doing this to you also, right? Mm. You got a hermit card. I thought you are going spiritual mode. Nine of swords. Ace of swords. 
You want to talk to them? Okay. I'll put you in, the, in a talking box with this person. Meaning, let's put, transformation has happened with a Scorpio death card. And it's a wonderful new beginning. Ace of Swords with Ace of Wands.